name is Rachel Byrne and I'm doing a documentary on willpower. How strong is the discipline in your life? There are three main mind tricks that restrict us from living a life that is fulfilling and satisfying. These tricks are media influences, the desires and the fear of failing. I'm going to play on these three tricks as I go about my project which is a week without any willpower, with no healthy food, junk food, takeaways, you name it, and no exercise. Followed by a week with healthy food and a lot of exercise. I tend to have fairly standard lunches, scrambled eggs on toast. And for dinners I like to have a snack at just tuna and crackers, I get Subway, stir fries. I have reasonably healthy dinner meals. This coming project will be a bit difficult. A typical week for me will consist of going for about two or three runs a week. I bike places on my bike. I do sit-ups every night, around about 50 to 100 sit-ups. I do splash out and have junk food. I don't have breakfasts. So it's the first day, I only just started this morning and it's about 7 o'clock, 7.30 now. I've had a mochaccino, I went to the movies, been relaxing, I ate a pie and a Pepsi for lunch. Lastly, for dinner, I've got some McDonald's. I've had a, a, I've got a Big Mac and fries to go with and a Pepsi. So far, I'm really not enjoying this experience. <laughs> the fatty holiday I've never had and I especially don't like eating fatty food that I can see the oil stains from, which is my pie packet. Bottoms up. So I'm halfway through my second day and all I've had to eat today in the morning was a vegan a sausage roll for breakfast and then I went to the movies where I had a big popcorn, a frozen yogurt, a V, um, a chocolate ice cream and lots of lollies. I am feeling gross. I feel like all this food that I've consumed, my stomach feels like, oh, I can't take any more. It's not actually doing anything in my stomach, it's just sitting there. <sighs> I'm tired, I'm hot, and I'm getting a bit grumpy because I'm not able to go out and do anything. So I've just went to BK. Mmm, check that out. The Big Mac had lettuce and vegetables on it. This just says double, double meat. End of day five, I've already had a big pizza for lunch. Just had uh, a red wine just before. I'm gonna be eating Grain Waves sour cream and chives for dinner. Last day, day seven of my one week no willpower project. So far this week I've noticed all energy has just drowned from my body. I've become tired very easily. I'm just about to eat my last, last supper. Fries and rodeo burger. I've watched four movies over seven days lounging in the sun and I'm really ready for tomorrow. People around me have suffered. For my family when I've been around them I've been complaining about the eating. With my boyfriend, I've noticed that I've been very, like the littlest things annoy me, the little th littlest things tick me off. Dreading walking anywhere. Here's to you, week of no willpower. Not as much as I thought it would be. Only one kg. So it's day one of the fitness week. I was quite surprised at the little amount of kilograms that I put on. One kg. My stomach expanded about 1.5 centimeters. I am feeling quite bloated from the week just being. Just went for the first run. 12 minute run. My legs were running fast and could keep going. Just my breathing wasn't quite there. Was it? <laughs> So day two and I've just woken up at 8 o'clock and just gone for a 25 minute run. The only thing about this one compared to yesterday is my breathing was right but it was my legs that were getting lazy. 
Sydney for a 20 minute run. I just went straight to the gym just now and did a 40 minute exercise on my abs. Yeah, so it's feeling really like bruised all around my ribs and my abs area. It is making it harder whenever I go to the gym because I've got those the aches in my um, stomach and my muscles and everything. But I have to just push through it. Willpower is what it's all about.